I personally think that I could write an essay and speak for hours about each individual teacher because of how much they've done for me and served just given their time and given their wisdom and their, and their love. They are my family. To have Kyler here at IP is really an honor for our school. Kyler is an amazing student and we have many of those students here at IP. Down the road, you know this young man is going to be somebody very, very special. And having a small, playing a small part in his success in life as a person really is important to all of us here at IP. Kyler is very mature, well he's very mature for his age. He's very helpful. He's very friendly, like he's, he will come up to you if, if you're new. You know, I see me too in him, but he's all over his daddy. Kyoki and I are both from Akakila. We live like two blocks away from each other. He asked me out and then uh, we got together after my junior prom. And then we've been together ever since. And then we got married right after when I was 19. And he um, joined the military. And then we left Hawaii in 97. We came down here for my concert union in 2002, and they were building the school, and Kyoki saw the sign, it says IPA, and uh, he said, and he was trying to get stationed back here in Hawaii, and he said that when we get back to Hawaii, and we can afford it, our kids are gonna go to Island Pacific Academy. I don't know why, like I said, all it had was a sign, and he said that he wants our kids, and I wasn't even pregnant yet. I found out I was pregnant two weeks after he said that. He deployed for a year, and came home, and then six months later, he got into a motorcycle accident. Kyler was four years old when his dad passed away. Hawaii was always our home, and we did have a home here in Hawaii, so that was just a given, was for me to come home. And then Kyler had to start preschool, and then kindergarten. It was no-brainer, so he was going to go to Island Pacific Academy. It was Kyoki's decision, and which was good because everybody had their opinions. What kept me focused was what Kyoki wanted, and that's what happened. And we've been blessed ever since. I pulled him out of IPA for fourth and fifth grade um, because the tuition started going higher, and I wanted Kyler in a private school setting, you know, for middle uh, middle school, especially high school, and I wanted to save our you know, our funds for that. Kyler was trying to return back to Island Pacific Academy in his sixth grade year. And um, Rachel was trying to figure out a way to make that happen. And the school awarded him with financial aid so that he can come back to IPA for his sixth grade year. She was going to school nonstop so that she could get a better job to send me to IPA. So I just, as I got older, I realized what she's been doing and how she did it to get me back to this point. When I came back, it was like, I never left. It was, it was the best. I just came back, I, I had started my experience in this building now, and yeah, it's just always been a blast. He's now a junior and continues to get support through financial aid and have him here on campus. And he's just become a wonderful student here and a joy to have on campus. I just feel very blessed that I can do what I do and, you know, Kyler can still come to this school that he feels, you know, that's been his home and he feels safe, I feel safe. IPA is one of a kind that I can be myself, I can be involved, I can be supported by so many teachers and faculty and my mom that I don't need to feel like I'm at a disadvantage or anything because I'm so grateful to be here. <laughs> Yeah, the school, it's more than just a building or a school. I, I think it's all the people that made this for us, you know, people that have come and go, the teachers, our class of 2021 parents. I just really want to thank um, the sponsors and also the donors. I mean, they don't know the people that, that uses it. But I'm very blessed, our family is very blessed, and we're very, very grateful for, for their, um, their support. And this school, you know, it's provided like a safe haven for us, you know, and for Kyler to, to do so well, you know, to uh, prepare him for the future.
Kyoku's always been a part of our life, like every every moment. There's not a day that goes by that we don't, his name doesn't come up, or his memory, or his um, life. When I was very young, I've always wanted to be in the military because of how much he always loved his job and talked about it when he got home from work. That I just wanted to, wow, I want to be inspired to that, to go to work. I didn't know exactly what route, and that's why I'm narrowing it down as I get older. But definitely, he's been a big part of that and to carry on his legacy of being in the military. Connor he has like a year and a half left here at IPA, and I know he's going to be well prepared when he leaves. I will always cherish like our memories here at IPA and and the friendship, like I said. Our parents, we have, a, we have this thing that we're gonna do road trips. Like wherever our kids are, we're just gonna get an RV and, and visit each college. And I, I know our kids probably don't like that idea, but <laughs> the aunties are gonna come visit. <laughs> it was all a hunch. It was just a leap of faith that, he would, that this school would be something good for me. And I don't regret this intuition at all because I am so glad that they made this decision.